Drum, 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 drum. Hey, Ma, I got my Galaxy S5 turned into a Galaxy S7 Edge. Let's go take a look. Hey guys, so there is a new ROM called Insanity ROM. It is literally insane and turns your Galaxy S5 uh, into an S7 Edge. Now this is not um, just a custom ROM, it's a ported ROM. So you have a full port from an S7 Edge, you get the full settings UI, uh, everything is actually ported off. It will actually change your model number to SM and SMG 935F, Android 6.0.1. It is awesome that you'll be able to get everything working. Now always on screen does not work, but it will work eventually. Um, make sure you leave it off, otherwise it will drain the battery. Um, so just be aware of that. And also fingerprint sensor doesn't work well, but everything else works. I've got it installed here on my T-Mobile uh, Galaxy S5 and you can see 4G. Now 4G is actually 4G LTE, so don't worry about it. Uh, it's an excellent, excellent ROM. For customization, you have three minute battery, uh, Insanity DPI changer, um, Super SU for root. All right, pretty awesome ROM. You also get a bunch of customization options uh, through the Insanity ROM control, which you can go ahead and customize the status bar, notification display, your buttons, lock screen, phone and dialer, um, a lot of cool stuff, So, which is really nice. Of course, for the UI, you get the full S7 Edge launcher. You can go ahead and change the grid size to 4x4, 4x5, 5x5, five five. my favorite is 5x5, five five. and also you can go ahead and grab all of the new TouchWiz themes. All right, you can go ahead and grab all of the new TouchWiz themes uh, that's normally available on the S7 Edge only. So awesome ROM, check it out. This is available for the T-Mobile Galaxy S5 I've got installed here. It's actually a, a G900F ROM, so you can install it on the G900F. I believe you can also install it on G900i and G900m. So long, uh, <clears throat> so long, so long as you have a Marshmallow bootloader, you should be able to install this. Now let me go ahead and show you how to install it real quick. Go ahead and download the necessary files, obviously. Go ahead and power off your phone. You'll need uh, the ROM file, pretty much. Volume up, center home, power. Let's go through the drill. All right, if you see recovery booting, let go of all the buttons. You should be in Clockwork mod or Twerp recovery. I prefer Twerp lately. All right, do make a backup. Um, I highly recommend making a backup of your EFS and cache. Uh, sorry, EFS and your modem. All right, back these up. Um, these will save your IMEI. Do that always before. You can. You only have to do it once. If you did it before, you don't have to do it again. That takes like five seconds. Hit the home button. Do a advanced white format system. Right, this is a sure way to install it the first time. Next, go ahead and wipe to a regular factory reset. Don't worry about the errors. Go to install, go to Insanity ROM, swipe, and when that's done, reboot, you're done. All right, if you don't have Marshmallow Bootloader, I will also show you how to do that. You'll have to just put it into download mode, Flash uh, the latest Marshmallow bootloader. You don't have to unroot, I have all the files just for the bootloader. So it will save you a lot of time downloading these huge uh, stock ROM files. Alright, it is done. Get rid of the chair. Let's go ahead. Don't worry about the error down here. Don't worry about it. Just reboot. You're good to go. Do not install SuperSU. That will mess up your SuperSU, by the way. Let it boot. Should take five minutes and uh, oh also another thing we will see now I have the right bootloader if you don't have the right bootloader um, you will have to install the correct bootloader so let me go ahead and show you how to do that real quick um, if you don't see see it reboot it on me right there it should reboot I think once and then this boot up screen should change to um, different logo here give it a second let's see how long it takes I've got the correct bootloader here so it will show me um, 
I think it has actually just gets stuck. There you go. So about 15 seconds, you should get this logo. If you don't see that, you probably don't have the correct bootloader. You'll get stuck on boot loop. So take the battery out, put it back in. Volume down, center home, power, like that. Hit volume up. Should be in download mode. All right, go ahead and connect it to your computer. Let's go to our computer real quick. All right, go ahead and download um, Odin. All right, you will need Odin. Odin 3 v3.10.6. You'll need that program. Unzip it, you get a folder uh, with the Odin program. Go ahead and run that. All right, you should see a blue highlighted com sign there. If you don't see that, that means you don't have proper drivers installed. Go ahead and download the USB drivers and install it, and you should be good to go. Once you have that, um, make sure you go ahead and download the bootloader. I should have all the bootloaders for your model. So I've got the one for a T-Mobile S5, the G900T, since I have a T-Mobile. All right, go ahead and download that. And Odin, we're gonna choose AP. We're gonna go ahead and choose the T-Mobile S5 bootloader modem or whatever bootloader modem is required for your phone. Hit open, hit start, and this will take like 20 seconds. And when it's done, your phone will boot, if it wasn't a boot loop, and you should have your new phone working. And that will reset the same thing here. And let me go ahead and change the camera angle here. And I'll be back when it completely boots. And your Galaxy S5 should turn into a Galaxy S7 Edge. Let's go like this. And boom shakalaka. Ooh yeah. All right. Um, once you see here, um, you'll see I get 4G right away. Now because this ROM requires a Marshmallow bootloader, it might not be possible on at and S5 until that is available. It is obviously not. Um, it will not boot on Marshmallow unless you have a Marshmallow bootloader. So once we figure that out, I should have another video about it. But for right now, um, I'm gonna go ahead and try it on my Sprint S5. I'll see if I can get a data fix for that. And if that works, we can get it working on the Sprint also. That's pretty much it though. Eh, go ahead and log in. And second boom shakalaka. And you should have S7 Edge. Convert it, yeah. Anyway, thanks guys for watching this video. Now you can turn your Galaxy S5 into a S7 Edge enjoy all of the new software features. Well, almost all. I should have an update when always on screen works and fingerprint works, but otherwise it's a pretty solid ROM. Really like it. Try it out and do let me know what you think. And as always, stay on Android.